today I'm going to be taking you on a trip to Japan Post, the Japan Post Office, which is my local post office. I visit them at least twice a month to send Only in Japan postcards to Patreon supporters every month, and uh, this is that day. So I have with me about a hundred postcards, and I like to go and visit my friends at the post office, which is about a 200 meter walk from my house. Um, I've been going here for years. So these ladies know me pretty good. I technically don't have permission to film in there, so most likely I'm gonna, you know, be real quiet. Because if I ask them, they're gonna say no. But if I am really nice about it, maybe they're gonna be okay. So how much is it? Does a stamp cost? Um, postcard stamps cost 70 yen. This is for international postcards. And if you're really cruel and you want to save 10 yen which is about eight cents, you can send it surface mail, which is 60 yen for a, a postcard stamp. But international first class air mail is how you probably want to send it 70 yen, or about 65 cents for a stamp on a postcard to the United States. International letter from Japan to the United States costs $1.05, about 110 yen. Um, if you're, that's to the United States. I think to Europe it's 130 yen. But everything costs about a dollar, so it's not too bad. And uh, the one thing I like about the Japan Post Office is that it's um, everywhere. You saw those in the thumbnail, you can see the red uh, mailboxes, which is very um, symbolic of Japan Post. Those red post, post boxes, which go back, I don't know, at least a hundred years. You can see old ones from, from decades ago, and you see them in front of uh, historical sites. So the post office is pretty important here in Japan. I also like the post office because the postmen here, they ride on little scooters and they ride on these scooters and they, uh, um, I'm, I'm trying to look for one now. This is my neighborhood area. So let's see here. Hold on a second. I right, turn it around. If we're lucky, we'll see a motor, a, uh, Japan post scooter scoot by. We're almost there. You can see the postmark here, which is actually a symbol. See it up ahead? That red mark? That's the symbol of the post office. All right. So when you see that, that means get your wallet out because it's time to buy some stamps. And that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, if you want a postcard, you, you can join Patreon and get one. This is uh, the thumbnail for the Capsa Hotel. This one is last month's postcard. Somebody didn't get there, so I'm resending it. This is the uh, Fukushima Ryokan dinner. This is this month's, which is Skiji Market, and Skiji Market is closing down um, in the fall, so I thought it would be a good time to send one. And this one I, I sent before Algashima, a shot for my drone. I make my own postcards. I put a message on it and sign it and I send it to people who support me on Patreon. Here's that mailbox I was telling you about. Right there, the Japan Post Office. And you can see here on the calendar, there's two. One is for letters and the other one is for envelopes or parcels, small, small packages from prepaid envelopes. And they pick it up every day except even on Sunday. So in Japan, the post office is running every day. Yeah, and the letters here. Now the Japan Post Office, <coughs> excuse me, um, the, uh, the hours are, I believe, 9.30 to 5 p.m. And uh, they close the uh, banking side of it at 4.30. And you can send letters until 5. These are the local post office. There's a post office at Tokyo Station and Osaka Station. They are open 24 hours, seven days a week. And it's right on the other side of the Tokyo station on Maranouchi. And I go there to send stuff when I'm in a panic and say, I gotta get this out today. It's gonna be postmarked today. I, I chug on Sunday to uh, uh, Tokyo station and get the uh, that postmark just in time. And you can do it on Sunday, which is cool. Japan Post runs all the time. Very efficient and they're super fast. Things that I send from Japan to the United States get there in about four days. And often from the US, from New York back to Japan takes seven days. So it just takes a lot faster 
for the Japanese to get the parcels out of Japan, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm gonna go in here and send a little bit. These. All right. So the post office gave me the par avion stamp to stamp these cards. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. You can see it. Yeah. So I do this myself to help them out. This is an old stamp, so I gotta do it extra hard. It's like a job. So, at the Japanese post office, they have ATMs, envelopes, boxes, just about everything that you need. And they have a massive stamp collection, and the stamps change every, every uh, few months. Right now, oh, they have the panda stamps. You wanna see the panda stamps? Okay, give me a second, okay. So I do this every month at the Japanese post office. Aflac. Pretty cool. I thought Aflac was only in the United States, but it's not. It's everywhere. This is for Amanda, Jonas, Matthias in Germany, Stephen, Brandon, Joanne. I feel like I'm Santa Claus, like sending off my list of those who've been naughty and those who've been nice. And today, Steven has been nice. In New York. June. Like everybody, almost everyone's in the United States. 
Oh, here's one from Austria. Michael. Michael. Sacha. Ireland. This is Clifford. Clifford's been good. <laughs> Jen. Matt. Lini. Leoni. Caroline. Caroline in California. There you go. It's coming your way. Wait. Matthew. Uh, Mr. David. David Wright, Mr. in his name. Right. I'm going to be here for like another 10 minutes. This is really boring. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the post office after I finish stamping this, okay? I'll be back. お、はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい
I did buy something else at the post, post office. Here's the receipt and uh, the post, post office had this um, Totoro puzzle and it's pretty cool. You can write the address on the, you write a message on the back of the puzzle and then you break up the puzzle and you put it in the envelope and then when they receive it, they have to put together the Totoro puzzle in order to, to read the message. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, you can get stuff like this at the post office. I like that. This is a Ghibli goods. Not at the Ghibli store. It's at the post office. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah, you know, um, post offices, just to finish up on this, it's uh, one of my favorite places to go because it's, it's uh, part of my routine but it's also because of the people I really I, I think it's like that in, in any local neighborhood post office the people there are just really really nice and when I go in there they get happy when I go in there because I, I have letters that I send abroad and this is a local post office so they don't see a lot of international mail most of the mail goes uh, inside Japan so when they see an address from the Philippines or from Singapore or from I think I had some people from Ireland and from Australia and like really far away places like uh, Brazil um, they get pretty happy I don't know why but it's, it's, it's cool for me to see their faces light up when I walk in there and like oh another big international postcard bunch so that's pretty cool alright so I'm gonna walk back home I'm gonna try to do another live stream uh, tonight I, I was in Abashiri last week and a lot of people were commenting when I was gonna do another live stream here I am I'm still alive <laughs> this morning I was with um, uh, Shingo and I did the 360 Yakitori Shinjuku Yakitori Alley video with him and he joined me to film an episode at at a game center in Tokyo so one of the episodes I'm gonna put on in the next couple of weeks will be uh, a game center, which is pretty cool. This is one of the most requested episodes as well, the game center. So I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, I have another video for the main channel coming tomorrow on Abashiri. It's the prison prison uh, that I went to. So it's gonna be an episode about the prison, um, in particular the food. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm editing it right now. Oh. You know, it's, I also like, I also like these uh, Japanese parking lots. Do you see these things sticking out? I don't know how it is in, in your country, but um, you back into these and then you pay at the vending machine. You can see there's a, the, this car has the thing going up. I think they do this in other places around the world, but this started in Japan a long time ago. And, and uh, yeah. This, this is kind of expensive. 24 hours for 900 yen or about $8.50 $8 for a day. And I'm not in the center of the city, but... You also notice another thing. In Japan, people back in. Nobody goes in front first. Everybody goes back. I think that's pretty interesting about uh, Japanese cars. Literally, nobody goes front first. Check it out. Everybody backs into the parking spot. In the US, everybody goes front first. It's insane. I guess, you know, to me, everything in Japan is like backwards compared to the United States. The grammar, Japanese grammar, is all backwards, okay? The way people talk, they'll say, ball, it is. And in the US, we say, it is a ball. It goes, ball, it is, backwards. The way that they drive is on the other side of the road. The way that they back in, Americans go in front first. Americans drive on the right, on the, uh, right side, and Japanese drive on the left side. So, is that right? Or is it flip? But anyways, it's the opposite side. So, there's so many things in my brain. I have to completely switch, put a, push the switch and switch from the, the one side to the other in order to survive in Japanese society. And that's a really cool feeling because you have to get used to everything being so different. And I'm still, even 20 years after moving here, sort of getting, getting uh, adjusting to uh, life here in Japan. You know, I'm gonna go around towards the station. But I just wanted in this episode to take you to the post office, that's all. <laughs> I didn't, I'm not doing anything. I've been editing the videos pretty hardcore and I haven't gone anywhere 
or done anything and I thought that, that it might be interesting to do that because that's the only interesting thing I did today besides filming um, and editing. So I'm just gonna walk around the station area here and give you, give you a look around before I cut off the live stream. Oh, I love this place. You wanna see? All right, I'm gonna take you across the street. This place smells so good, but I hardly ever go in there. Oh, it smells like curry. This is curry udon. So they found a way to, to take curry and just like fuse it with udon. So it's like in a curry soup. Ah, oh, it's so good. This is so close to my house. I'm spoiled rotten. Wow, they make a good curry udon. And when you have places like this, why would you ever, ever go to a place like this? You know what I mean? Like if you have, if you have all these amazing Japanese food, why would I ever go to McDonald's? I don't know. Why does anybody? They do have a pretty weird burger going on right now. Looks like a rhinoceros, but it's got some sort of egg, egg in there. It's a chicken tartar sauce. Tarata. Chicken tarata. Uh, not too bad. McDonald's used to be, McDonald's used to close at 10 p.m. and now it's open 24 hours. I guess, uh, you know, if it's the only thing open, you gotta eat McDonald's, right? There's a really good yakiniku restaurant upstairs that I go to sometimes as well. Underneath is a drugstore. But literally the reason why I live in this area is because um, the rent is a little bit lower. It's a little bit further outside of the center of the city. Um, there's four supermarkets around my house. There's three convenience stores within 50, no, about 100 meters of my house. I can hit three convenience stores. 7-Eleven, Family Mart, and a Lawson's. It's crazy, right? There's um, a Yoshinoya. There's a, two bakeries. There's a Don Quixote. There used to be a Mr. Donuts, but went out of business. There's a coffee shop. There's a bunch of izakayas, a karaoke place. There's a bookstore. I mean, this is pretty cool to live here in central Tokyo. And even in Japan, whenever you live around a station, you're going to find that you have a lot of cool stuff. Now this here, this is not a real Don Quixote. It's like a, a mini Don Quixote, but it's still pretty good. Before it was a Don Quixote, it was a pachinko. Oh, it was a pachinko shop. Now it's a Don Quixote. Better that way. And my station, one more thing. <laughs> my station has a hundred yen shop. So, I can tell you. I'm pretty happy here, but it's time to move. I'm going to be moving to another area of Tokyo uh, in the next couple of months. So, I might do a house tour just to say goodbye. That's the one thing everybody has asked me to do. Do a house tour. And I uh, haven't done it because I don't, I don't do that. But if I was going to, it would be now. So thanks anyways for joining me on this live stream. Um, I really didn't do planning, so take you in there, show you how I send the postcards. If you want a postcard, then my, I guess I can plug it. It's the Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash only in Japan. I'll put a link in the description. Um, actually, the postcards are almost sold out. We've almost hit the maximum capacity of what I can do per month. So <laughs> if you want one, it's gonna be sent at that post office or right here at this box. This is where I've sent um, a lot of letters and post office uh, letters as well. This is the one in front of the station. So this is where it'll come from. All right. Have a great day, great night, everybody. I will be back. I have to. I have some questions and answers to do. Uh, uh, Peter's in the house. Thank you, Peter. You are the streaming man. It's scary, the streaming man. Considering there's a Slender Man movie, I guess streaming man would be another 
possible scary genre we can do. Uh, yeah, I will be sad to say goodbye to this area, um, to say goodbye to this, this part of Tokyo because I've enjoyed living here for the last 13 years, but it's time to go. It's time to go and find new things, new, new horizons, new everything. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to tell you, um, since Peter is on, check out his channel. He just released a video, um, did you release it? One on prisons. There's a, he, it's probably the story of the century. He has an amazing scoop. I like to call it a scoop, but Peter Von Gom is the channel, PVG. Definitely check it out because, oh my word, not enough people are. I think it should be getting like 10, 20, 30,000 views. Absolutely. Oh, you're working on it. Okay, so Peter just chatted that he's working on it right now, but his channel is getting pretty good. And he, he's taking stories from you, from the community, and he reads them aloud, the good stories, and has an artist animate it to add a little bit of spice to it. And he, he's starting to experiment with different angles as well to make it more interactive. And I'm pretty impressed with the way, Peter, if you're watching, I'm pretty impressed with your channel. It's really starting to grow. It's coming along. You, my friend, might actually become a real live YouTuber. Although he already is on this channel. I, I think if there was no Peter, no Jennifer and Kevin, I don't know, it'd be just me. It's much better, it's much better with them. All right, I gotta go. Uh, I will live stream from, you're very welcome, Peter. I will live stream uh, a little bit later on tonight. I have some other stuff that I wanna introduce to you. Uh, I'm gonna keep that top secret. I also have the new video coming on the main channel that I mentioned already. It's on the Abashiri prison food. And it's a big scoop because I got to uh, um, film inside of the prison. They don't allow filming. Uh, very often and I asked very nicely and Abashiri prison said okay and I was able to film there for an entire day I even got my drone up there to, f to fly over the prison So uh, I'm looking forward to uploading this and showing that to you in the next 24 36 hours. Let's just say you never know. It's a lot. It's a long edit. So see everybody have a good day Good night wherever you are in the world Enjoy the scene of my neighbors. Toodaloo.